Hi everyone. Today I wanted to do a video just because tomorrow we have Shivratri and a lot of people have been asking me what you can do on Shivratri. So it's a very short video where I want to tell you what you can do. You can take uh, turmeric powder. With turmeric powder you can mix a little bit of ghee, you can mix uh, rose water, you can uh, mix um, nutmeg and you can make a shibling out of it. So you do your puja, the regular puja that you want to do on that and you can uh, put some flowers, you can put some fragrance, you can put some perfume mixed with, with that and everything. You can add some bibhuti on top and uh, you pour the water. Once you have poured the water, when that turmeric has dissolved into water, you can actually spread it around your house in the corner of your house and you can also use it for taking bath. So it enhances the abundance part of it, it enhances the uh, Adi Shakti quality where this day is specifically for both of them and it is, it is a day where uh, the two opposites come together, extreme opposites come together, creating manifestation. So when we look at Shiva, Shiva is not really into material uh, gains, into material things. He is, he is an epitome of Vairagya, he is an epitome of nothingness, he is an epitome of life, your life after life or your life which is beyond this life and he has nothing to do with material world. When we are talking about Adi Shakti, she is the manifestation of material. She is the manifestation of all kinds of desires. See, she is Maya herself. She is desire herself. So when we are using turmeric, we are getting the Shakti aspect of it and we are uh, calling in abundance. We are mixing it with water. We are mixing with it with life and we are mixing with it with things of the earth. So you can add many more things to it. You can make it as elaborate as possible. You can make a small nandi also. Uh, but make sure that nandandi has testicles because that is the most important part when we talk about uh, the Shiva temple or anything to do with Shiva. The manifestation part is actually Nandi's testicles. So that is one important part. If somebody is very creative, you can make it. Otherwise, you can do without it also. So I think you can try it for tomorrow. And uh, it's a very potent uh, way of uh, doing a particular ritual because you are not actually, uh, you're not buying anything or you don't have anything which is made by somebody else. And we are talking about dissolving with the spirit. You need to be a part of the spiritual world to manifest. So the dissolving of the Shivlinga and then using it for your home or your bath, it enhances that quality. So I think you can enjoy tomorrow's day and um, enjoy it to the fullest. Just do the small ritual sometime in the evening, any time that you have. Don't let it be. Uh, don't let it be with uh, a lot of do's and don'ts, and just be as natural as possible, and enjoy your day.